uh, so between the two that are running for um, running for mayor, uh, it came right down to the day of. Uh, I've been flip flopping back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And as far as uh, telling you who I voted for, I probably won't. <laughs> the general sentiment going into it, it seems like the folks were thinking that uh, Joan Shannon has a like is going to probably take it, but. I'm starting to get feelings from other folks that it's going to be close. What brings you to the polls today? Campaigning. 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 Nice, yeah, nice. first time being active yeah. in getting who we'd like to see elected, yeah. elected. Well, obviously the mayor is raised a big race and I'm supporting mm -hmm. Joan. Mm -hmm. And I served with Joan on the Bronx City Council for 10 years. And uh, given the issues in front of us, you know, you know, today with the homeless population, public safety, uh, I just think her experience is is, is something that kind of sent me, sent me in her direction. Um, something I've been thinking a lot about is um, our housing crisis in Burlington and um, just the immense amount of suffering that is going on around us, which I think we all see. Um, and I think it really requires a very compassionate and, um, yeah, like open-minded, um, caring approach. And I think that that is, Emma stands for that. Well, I was super excited to see Emma on the ballot and to uh, vote for Emma because I think she understands really complicated issues and cares about everyone in our community. So she's the right person for the right time. We need a good mayor. And I think I know I want. And were there any issues to you that were especially important in this election? Yes, for the police department and the park department. Uh, the ballot question on the funding for the police and fire as well because uh, of what I do for a living. I think that's really important for what's facing the city and I hope that passes to continue the upward momentum. You know, funding for the fire department and the police and the school and, you know, I know it's tax dollars but we need to help improve those things so it was all good for me. Always got to vote for the schools, of course, of course. Awesome. I'm a homeowner. I've been here 30 years, and I'm concerned about rising costs, including taxes. I'm, you know, pro-education. You know, I'm a liberal, but, you know, getting priced out of my home, I feel like, is it's getting a little absurd. Uh, don't want to see increases. My taxes go up, yeah. and I think we can do a lot better than what we're doing now. Yeah. So. Do you feel the same way about the public safety? No, that's what I want to see. I don't even really go downtown Burlington. It's all over the country, but, um, you know, definitely want to see <coughs> Burlington go back to what it was when I came here 35 years ago. I've been a Burlington resident for five years now, and to be able to vote for the first time and to make my voice count by voting is such a huge privilege. So, yeah. yes. Yeah. I'm excited. I felt like the candidates were pretty much um, very um, dedicated to yeah. getting the job done and I, I hope the best man wins yeah. or the best person wins. Yeah.